The second CES Water and Fuels Maintenance Shop used to spend hours manually climbing water towers in search of damage. But not anymore. With the introduction of a new aerial drone, they're reducing time, costs, and personal risks. Normally, it's a two to three man operation to climb a tower, uh, a ground guy, a climber, and a spotter. We can fly this with the HD video camera that's on it and get quality video of it and be able to inspect it without even climbing the water towers. Now one guy can come out and do the same operation it took three to do before in a way safer environment. The drone was originally obtained for infrastructure assessment, but water and fuels are finding more and more uses for it every day. We've used it so far for tank inspections, the uh, parking layouts of the air shows, when we bring upwards of over 100,000 people onto the base. Uh, we've done a few roof inspections for our carpenter shop structures. The base commander asked for us to do video footage of the fighters and bombers together. And the uses don't stop there. We're also going to be teaming with Forestry Department this coming winter. Trying to get a thermal imaging camera for the drone so that they can mitigate any flare-ups after they've done their control burns. What began as a tool to decrease instances of airmen performing harness-assisted, high-level climbing has become an innovation with seemingly endless possibilities. From Barksdale Air Force Base, I'm Senior Airman Lauren O'Connor.